Hello guys, welcome back to this Fiat Giacato budget van conversion series. And in today's video, we're gonna be fitting the solar panels on the roof of our van. And I'm gonna be wiring them slightly different to what I have done before. So initially, I'm gonna run through why that is and, and uh, the reasons for doing that. I just wanna say a massive thanks to everybody that's left me a comment on the previous videos and given me some really great feedback. You know, I've really enjoyed reading all your comments and please do leave me a comment below after you've watched this video. Right, let's get started. Now I just wanted to go through with you about wiring of the solar panels, because we're doing it a little bit differently than what we did last time and some of my other wiring videos. Now previously, I've suggested that the panels is best to wire them in series. And what that does is that adds the voltage together and then you've got a higher voltage coming down to your charge controller. The charge controller will bring that voltage down and ramp up the amps, which is fine if your charge controller can handle that extra voltage. In this case, we're using a Renergy charge controller. We're using this DC to DC charge controller and it's combined MPPT solar charge controller as well. Does everything all in one. Now, when we wire the panels in series, we take the negative from one panel to the charge controller. We take the positive from that panel, not to the charge controller, but we wire that to the next panel, connect it positive to negative, and then we take the positive from the second panel and wire that to the charge controller. And what that does by wiring those in series, that adds this voltage together. So what we actually see at the charge controller is two times this voltage. So 43.2 volts, they get added together, but this at the same amps, so 10.3 amps. Now that presents us with a little bit of a problem because this particular charge controller will only accept 25 volts maximum from the solar panels. So at 43 volts, that's gonna to be too much and that's gonna blow up the, the charge controller or it, at least it will damage the circuit board. So we're not gonna be able to wire these panels in series. So what we then need to do is wire them in parallel. And what you can get are these MC4 connectors, these little junction pieces like a wire piece to enable you to easily connect the panels together so in this instance what we will do is we will connect both the positives together with one of those wire pieces and then connect that to the charge controller and we will do the same with the negatives we'll connect both the negatives together and wire that to the charge controller so now with them wired in parallel, negative to negative, positive to positive, the voltage remains the same and the amps get it added together. So what we see at the charge controller now is the same voltage, 21.6 volts, but double the amps. So 20.6 amps. So now we're okay. The 21.6 maximum voltage is below the 25 volts that the charge controller can handle. So we're okay. So that's how we're gonna to have to wire this system on the van. So the panels that we're going for on this fan are from Renergy. Uh, this is a 175 watt panel. Because they're more efficient now, this is actually much smaller than the panels that we fitted on our van. This is only 1260 millimeters long, 700 millimeters wide. It weighs about 10 kilos, so it's lighter. It produces a little bit more watts than our old ones. Ours were 160, this is 175. 
nominal operating voltage is about 18 volts and it's just a fraction under 10 amps is what it will produce so yeah and uh, when I purchased these I got a pretty good deal I paid 133 pounds each so considering these have got a 25 year operational warranty on performance I think that's a really good value for money uh, I've bought two of these panels to go on the roof and as we've just seen we're going to wire them in parallel onto that MPPT charge controller right let's see how we're going to fix them to the roof so I just want to give a quick shout out to a couple that got in touch with us Dilly and Trish sent us this little parcel thanks very much guys they had a spare one of these cable entry boxes so said we could happily have it for our project thank you but as a rule you know I didn't want to take any sort of donations or free gifts and, and use my position on YouTube but you know that's the sort of thing that you could get from any self-build group if you put a message out on one of the forums ask if anybody's got anything left over from their build that they want to donate to your build yeah thanks very much Dilly and Trish cheers appreciate it right the hole I need to drill in the roof of the van for the cables is 20 mil so I've got a 20 mil hole cutter in my drill and then obviously that will leave a raw metal edge which will cut through our cables so what I'm going to do is put one of these little rubber grommets in the hole that will protect that metal edge protect that cable stop it wearing through and then what I will do probably from underneath is I'll put a bit of Sikaflex in there as well just to keep them all in place but I brought some of these grommets they were only a couple of quid but I've got a box of a hundred now I only really need one so if anybody wants a couple of grommets I've got some spares <laughs> just give me a shout this section at the back of the van is probably the best place for the cables to go in the rest of it is all ridged with these troughs so difficult to find a place that would be level to put the cable entry box so probably better here and then this goes into a big box section at the back of the van I'll show you inside so it's a near really easy cable route for the cables to get down to where the electrics are going to be so we're going to position the box there I've just drawn round it with a marker just so I know where I need to put the hole for the cable grommet it's obviously got two cable entries on the front but I'm only going to drill one hole a 20 mil hole with a 20 mil grommet will be more than enough to get the two 6 mil cables down into the van. See, so, just to prove stuff doesn't always go to plan, the arbor snapped in that drill bit. So I'm just going to have to go and get another one. Unfortunately that arbor snapping has scratched the paint a little bit but I was going to make sure that I painted it with a bit of silver hammer on it anyway so just to protect that raw edge so we was going to do that anyway and you can paint hammer it onto bare metal no problem so that will protect that this is not going to see any moisture anyway because it's going to be inside that glam box but just to be 100% sure, we'll give that a good coat. We'll let that dry and then we'll put the grommet in. Now Renergy sell one of these fixing kits. There's a load of aluminium brackets and some nuts and bolts. They cost £10 for a pack. It's enough to do one panel. The bracket is shaped like this. And then around the perimeter of the panel there's these holes. 
and then what you do is you put the bracket on the edge of the panel like that put a nut and bolt through this hole and then that stands it off your roof by probably about half an inch or 12 mil and then a couple of fixings with these self drilling screws we can secure it onto the roof of the van and then we will put a decent amount of Sikaflex on that bracket just make sure that's waterproof washer on the bolt to start off with bracket bolt from underneath another washer on the top and then one of these little split ring lock washers and then the nut on the top I think personal preference I would have preferred that to be a nylock nut um, but get a couple of spanners make sure these are nice and secure before we put it up on the top of the van Right, let me run through how we're going to connect these two panels together in parallel. I've got all the bits down here that we need. The panels come with a short bit of 4mm cable, a couple of feet long. They are marked positive and negative. So we've got these little MC4Y connectors to connect them both together. So what we need to do is plug both panels into there and then the one output will go down to our solar controller. So we'll plug one panel into there and then we'll plug the other panel into there and then one down to our solar controller. Now because we're putting them in parallel the amps are added together so there's a lot more current travelling down the single cable. So what I've gone for, I've upgraded the single cable to a 6mm cable. This Y connector will plug into there so then this is basically the positive so what I suggest you do is mark this while you've got it down with some red tape on this end and mark the other end of the cable as well now that we've established that this is going to be the positive positive. and then once you've fed it down into the van you'll know that that one's from the positive connection on the panel and the one that remains black is obviously the negative and then lastly, what I've got in line, once I've connected these two positives together onto this connector, I'm going to put an inline fuse. It's a Renergy 30 amp solar fuse. And we'll plug that onto there. And then we'll plug our positive cable onto there. And then that'll fuse that connection, make it safe coming down into the van. I'm only prepping the area where the bracket's going to be with sandpaper because our roof has been painted with some gloss paint. If you've got your original factory paint, you'll just need to make sure these areas are really clean of grease and dirt. You'll notice that I'm going to secure the panels just on the high points of the roof because that will tend to shed the water and the water is going to run away in the low valleys where I haven't got any fixings at all. So there's less chance of a leak. Are you there? Yep. Lined up? Yep.
positive cable. That's it, that's them all plugged together. I'll tidy these cables up underneath the panels. Use some of those little sticky pads with some cable ties just to keep them all nice and tidy. And then we'll put them down that cable gland into the back of the van. All the product links for these solar panels, the MC4 connectors and the solar charge controllers will be in the description below. Now if you're not happy screwing your solar panels through your roof like I've done there's some alternatives on the market. For these Ducato boxes and relay vans they've got these little T-nuts which are spot welded to the roof which you can fix your roof bars to, a roof rack or anything like that. And uh, Sean from Mule Vans he does these fixings and uh, I just asked him to send me one so I could show you guys what they do. So he's got a little sort of T slot cut in this little channel here. This slides over that little T bolt like that. There's another bit of folded stainless with these protective rubber strips on. Drops down over the top of the bolts onto the roof. And then you can put your unistrat or your roof rack, whatever you want to do unistrut across the van to put your solar panels on and then obviously once you've got the other bits and pieces on there a couple of washers and then simply bolt them down and as you do up these nuts that pulls that bottom plate up to the bottom of that little t-nut and uh, basically drives this one down pulls the bottom one the inside one up and sandwiches it all together tight and it's a really good convenient really easy simple fixing so I'll put some links in the description. I'll also put a little QR code up here. 
to Sean's website at Mule Vans. Check out Mule Vans, they do some fantastic stuff, really top quality to, for van conversions. They do roof racks, they do rear tire holders, all sorts of gear. But this is uh, not a sponsored video, by the way. I just asked Sean to send me one of these because I thought it'd be really handy for you guys to have a look at. Right, so there you go. Another solution, you don't have to drill into your roof of your van if you don't want to. Hopefully you can just see in there where that rubber grommet is. The two solar cables come down into this rear box section at the back of the rear doors here. And then I've put some PVC conduit just to give them plenty of protection in there. We've run along to the corner and then we've run down in this rear light pillar in the corner. You can see the conduit running down there. Hopefully you can see that's not too dark. And then that runs all the way down to the bottom here and obviously now you can see the importance of labeling these cables because obviously from inside we wouldn't know which was which but now I do know that that's the positive positive. and here at this side of the garage is where all the electrics are gonna go and uh, the batteries and everything so, so that's the installation of the solar panels and cables complete so there we go that's the installation of the solar panels finished it's given you a couple of options of how you can fix them to the roof of your van as well we've got 350 watts of solar up there it's a medium wheelbase fan so i think that's about enough and with what i'm going to show you in the next couple of videos on the electrical installation i've got some other options that we can charge our leisure batteries we didn't fit a dc to dc charger in our sprinter van because we had a lot more solar I haven't got as much solar on this fan, so I am gonna be fitting a DC to DC charger. But there's a little bit of an innovation there. I've got a really good bit of kit that does everything all in one, so, and at really economical price as well. So I look forward to showing you more details about the electrical installation. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification, so you'll get a notification when I upload the next video. And thanks very much for watching. Cheers.